Many people tell me that I have an extraordinary gift, but it doesn't feel like that to me. It almost feels like this is my life. This is just normal for me. Well, the other day at Junior Lifeguarding, I was um, going through my head the um, July 8th performance that I'm going to be doing next. You'll actually see him sometimes, you know. He'll be listening to somebody, somebody will be talking to him, but if you look at one of his hands, you'll actually see it going like this. You know, as, you know, it's almost like, even though he's not at the piano, he's still practicing the piano. I was, I was just waiting there and just figuring out things in my head. <laughs> One, two, one, two. Some of the kids think like, wow, how do you do this? And like that kind of a thing. And then, well, some others really don't care. He used to play soccer and stuff, but he even said to us that, you know, mom, I, mom and dad, I can't give you, you know, my full participation in this. Because, you know, I am conscious of my hands and I don't want anything to happen to my hands. Sometimes I'm not aware of it, but I'm I'm always I'm always careful with my hands, especially so close to a performance. I can't really share any of my feelings with any of my peers because a lot of them are not musicians, only one of them is an opera singer. Well, there's probably nothing that makes my brain work in the same way as music does because it's just so unique and different from everything else. That really is its, its own thing and nothing can compare to it. I just played the piano since I was like two, but by the time that I was five and a half, I got real lessons. I don't know what got me there, but I think partly it was because there was this old piano in my house that my mom took lessons on when she was like my age now. So um, I was just banging on it, and one day I found some music in the bench and I asked her, what does all of this mean? Well, I practice not in a time frame like most, um, most, pe most students do. Like they say, okay, I'm going to practice two hours a day. What I do is I say, if I make any improvement, that's my practice. <laughs> so sometimes what happens with me is because I practice constantly in my head. When I go to the instrument, I'm almost like, almost just running through pieces. Uh, Drew's mother, Sid Peterson, came up to me two summers ago at a concert and said, um, I wonder if you might speak to me for a moment. We are quite concerned we have a young uh, son who is now nine and composing since the age of seven and playing piano since the age of seven. And we're hoping we're doing the right thing, but we don't know if we are, and we, we really would appreciate a moment of your time. It was a music festival concert where I met Eleanor Leonard. And she, she told me, why don't you go and visit Lucas Foss in New York and you can play for him? So then I played for him and then he said like, bravo, bravo. And he said, would you like to play in the music festival this summer? Usually the young people don't have the kind of maturity of interpretation that Drew has. As I said, he's not just a child prodigy, he's really a musician. And it's rather amazing the way he plays. 
can move you to tears if it's a, that kind of a piece. Well, I'll be playing the um, Mozart 21st Piano Concerto in C Major, KV467. And it, I feel um, very happy that I'm playing it. And it's a very happy piece, actually. It's a very big contrast from the last concerto that he wrote, the, the 20th in D minor. Very, very sad. And so this one, I think he was happier, and I feel happy to be playing it. <laughs> I'll tell you, I treat him like a grown-up. And we work together perfectly well. But I'll find out more tomorrow at the rehearsal. It's a, a particular concern. Uh, when one deals with a prodigy and, and a, a rare talent like this, that it doesn't get ruined, really ruined. The chances of that happening are great. If you ask too much, if we do too much, even this having him um, perform with the orchestra, although it, it was, we thought about it, we thought about it, Lucas and I, but Lucas felt it was going to be all right after hearing him and that it was not too soon, you know, and it isn't too soon for Drew because Drew was so ready, Drew was so ready. I'm playing a whole 30 minute concerto with 60 other people. <laughs> That makes it a lot different than most of my solo performances. Many great people have heard him, many uh, important people in music have heard him. If one closes one's eyes, it could be just about anyone that you highly respect. I won't mention names. is that adept and that mature. His, his readings of the music are so mature. It's startling. Well, that's what's so astonishing about Drew. He does already feel the music. He can make it come alive, he can make you touched by it. That's what's unusual. That's what I like about him. I I really felt excited that I was going to be um, I was going to be the featured person on on the opening night of this big music festival. I should know how to do this after all of these concerts, shouldn't I? Because I'm a mother, a parent, and he's a little child, but I'm not a musician, so I can't tell him what to do or how to do this or how to get ready. So he's on his own and he actually prefers it that way. I first performed when I was five and a half in Carnegie Hall in a recital that my teacher had. Drew Peterson is, in fact, the youngest person we have had perform with the orchestra. I feel 
calm and relaxed, and I know what I'm going to do. With all of these hours of practice behind me, I have the piece well prepared, and I'm mostly not nervous when I'm very confident with what I'm performing. Our artistic director, Lucas Foss, as you may know, is one of the rare um, entities to music. He is at both a, um, all three, composer, conductor, and pianist. A very important point is that he's one of the great pianists. He never chose to do it, but he uh, holds also a very, very um, important position in the world of 20th century music. Piano lesson, I started composing. Age eight, I began to write an opera for children. Age nine, I threw it away, deciding it was childish. By the time I was 11, it was clear to everybody that Lucas wasn't good for anything else but music. about playing the piano is the performance that comes because it's such a it's such it's the thing that you've been working for and if I was to never do performances I wouldn't be as happy wrote his own cadenza. Now uh, this is a popular thing to do, was often done uh, by the pianist, by the soloist, but here is this 11 year old who has actually written his own cadenza.
joy, really. Because I know he's doing something he absolutely loves, right? The performance yes. for him I, is... I love the performances. All of this hard work that I've done always, like, comes out for everyone, <laughs> including myself. <laughs> Wait, we have to go out, right? I think so, because I, there isn't really any way for anyone to get in, right? Right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> where will everyone come? Like, where will everyone come to meet? Like, will I just go out and everyone will, like, talk yes. there? Yes, okay. then they'll have dessert. On yes. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Foss, when you're finished, may I have your autograph? Thank you so much. Yeah. Congratulations, you a wonderful job. It's just like a relief that he didn't make any mistakes. Then everyone walks up to him and then just talks to him. Do you know the ninth and 12th concertos? Of Mozart? Yeah. No, I don't. He wrote the ninth when he was about your age. You ought to listen to it. Read it, read it. It's a wonderful piece. Good wow. job today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it, it kind of is like very happy. And then after everyone starts crying, then like, then it's over. Then it's like it can't happen again. I couldn't really live without this, so that would feel not normal. If I was just taken away from this, like right now, I wouldn't feel right. So that's that's how I really feel about music. I, I feel about it as a like, as a thing that I do, not like a gift that's like really, really like important and like that. Everyone's just so happy and they're they're just so impressed. I just feel like it's just what I do for my life. <laughs>